if Rudyard Kipling if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance for their doubting too you can wait, not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies, being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good, nor talk too wise. You can dream not make dreams your master you can think but not make thoughts your aim if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools or watch the things you gave your life to broken. Stoop and build them up with worn out tools. You can make one heap of all your winnings. And risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose. And start again at your beginnings. Never breathe a word about your loss. You can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone. And so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, Hold on! You can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, you can fill the unforgiving mitt with sixty seconds worth of distance run! Yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and, which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Mm. That's a fucking poem, and I don't know how to read it, but that's the best I can do. Uh, it's really not much to say beyond what is said in the poem. But make allowance for their doubting too. I don't know why, I guess I've heard it read so much in an English accent that I want to read it that way, but I think it works because it's very English as a poem. It's like, yeah, if you can do both things, that are contrary. And that's what English people do. It's like the history of Britain. It's like freedom and slavery. It's like, where do you think the Americans learned it? It's not okay. It's not okay to say that. I mean, it, I'm not gonna, no, it is okay to say that. It's not okay to do that. It's not okay to be a slaver. Anyway. The part that gets me is down here. If you can make a heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose. Why would you do that? You know? The thing that I judge myself the most for, probably, is just like not valuing what you have enough. 
to the point of protecting it. Why would you do that? Risk it on one turn of pitch and toss. Why would you do that? That's why I'm not a man, my son.